Yeah, hello once again guys and today I'm going to be showing you how you can disable the speed limiter on your Engway EP2 Pro e-bike and this will also apply to any other e-bike that has the YL80C intelligent display fitted. I'm also going to deep dive into all the other advanced settings of the display and explain how I have my own bike set up in order to unlock its full potential. The EP2 uh, Pro comes out of the box limited to 15 miles per hour or 25 kilometers per hour depending on which metric it's set to. Uh, this is to comply with the e-bike speed limit laws uh, when riding it on UK roads. But you may also want to uh, take this bike off-road and get the most out of its performance. But I'll start by saying that this video isn't uh, to advocate breaking the law and I don't endorse riding unrestricted e-bikes on UK roads. Okay, so if you're not bothered about all the other settings and you just want to basically unlock the speed limiter, you can do this by first powering on the bike by turning on the battery to its on position and then pressing this on off button which is located underneath these plus minus buttons here. This will bring up your main display. And uh, I just want to point out that you can only change any of these settings whilst the bike's uh, stationary. So when you've turned on the uh, the main display, the first thing you're going to need to do is hold down both the plus and the minus buttons at the same time for around about two or three seconds until you see this menu pop up. This is your general settings menu, and uh, the first you'll you'll recognise this by the TC abbreviations that pop up. You can cycle through this menu. Uh, there's three parameters in it. Uh, you've got the TC, the BL, and the UN, which I will tell you all about later in the video. But we don't need any of these right now. But to access the uh, speed limiter, that's in uh, more advanced settings. So you need to come into the general settings menu first, and then you need to go one step deeper, which is the advanced settings. So we do this by pressing down the minus button and the I button at the side here, just next to the plus button. And we do this for about four seconds, but you've got to be uh, pretty accurate with this because otherwise it won't go into it. But yeah, we've, we've got the LD. So you'll see the LD pop up now. So this means that's the first screen of the advanced settings menu this stance this is for your wheel di uh, diameter which i've got set to 22 inches uh, so what we'll do now is press the plus button and cycle through till we get through to the ls abbreviation which stands for limit speed and as you can see uh, my speed is actually limited to 25 kilometers per hour at the moment but what we need to do is access this this feature to uh, to be able to change that so we do that by shortly just a short press of the i button and you'll see that the 25 is now flashing uh, we can now use the plus button to increase the speed to its maximum and then we'll get up to 60 kilometers per hour and then once we've got once we've set it to as limit that we desire we press uh, the, we do a long press of the i button again and that will bring us back to the main menu what i would normally do to to lock those uh, in is by turning the whole bike on and off again and that will be fully locked in and your bike will be unlocked so that's how you disable the speed limiter, but there's lots of other custom settings to go through. So please stick with me and we'll now go through them all one by one. But first, I just want to mention uh, the final button on the instrument cluster, uh, which is located just underneath the uh, the I button at the side here. And this is where you'll turn on your headlight, uh, your front headlight and also your rear light. And you'll know that they're on by uh, this, this headlight symbol that appears on your display. So the first perimeter that I'm going to talk about today in the general settings menu is the trip computer, which is uh, the, the TC abbreviation. And basically to enter this parameter, as with all, every parameter on the bike, you just uh, short press on the I button. Now this is just if you want to reset your trip computer after every time that you've used the bike, it'll always reset back to zero. Uh, so I got that set to yes, uh, which is basically a reset of the, uh, the trip computer. And to come back out of that again is a short press of the I button. And then we, uh, we press the plus button to cycle through to the next one, which is the BL, which stands for backlight. So if we enter that one, um, the, we've got three settings. We've got a level two, level one, and this basically just alters the, the brightness of, of your backlight of your, your display. So we'll, I have mine on uh, level three and we'll enter out of that one. 
and then the third one in this general settings menu is the UN and that's basically the the metric unit that you're going to use I'm in the UK so I use miles per hour on the uh, odometer uh, but if you want to change that to kilometers per hour you can just uh, cycle through with using the plus uh, but I've got I'll set that to uh, U1 which is miles per hour and then long press out of that and that'll bring us back to uh, the display uh, the main display Okay, so next we're gonna go into the uh, custom settings. And this is uh, quite an advanced range of settings because you've got to set it to your, your own specific bikes requirements because you will see this display on many different e-bikes. Uh, so this is where you can really uh, get into the customization of all like your pedal assist and so on. So to access this um, menu, you go into your general settings menu as you did before. But then what you've got to do is then press it again, the plus and the minus button for like three seconds, and then you'll see the VOL come up. And that means you're in your custom settings. Now, first we've got the, the VOL, which is, is your voltage, it's your battery voltage. And what you can do is you can set each um, each level of your battery to a certain voltage but i don't really touch this and i keep this set to the uh, what the manufacturer's default settings were so as you can see level one would be at um, 40 volts and as you cycle oh, i don't want to change it uh, but then press the i button to go to the next one uh, the second bar would be 44.5 volts the third one is 46.5 volts uh, the fourth one would be 47.5 volts and the fifth bar is 49 volts which is one volt over this uh, 48 volt battery but i do believe that this battery uh, charges fully to um, 54 volts so it will actually take quite a while for the uh, for the first bar to uh, to get to the 49 volt um, mark uh, so you will be riding around for quite a while before you start to see your, your battery uh, drop okay so the next parameter is the sc parameter and basically what this is is the um, uh, the amount of levels of pedal assist that you require so if we enter into this mode you'll see uh, that i've currently got this set to zero to five levels which basically means that uh, when, when i've uh, got my pedal assist set to zero on my display it, uh, there'll be no pedal assist whatsoever uh, right up to uh, whatever i want on level five uh, as i scroll through um, you can see that we've got a one to five which basically it means there'll always be some kind of uh, pedal assist. We've got zero to seven, one to seven, zero to nine and one to nine but like i say i prefer mine in zero to five i think five levels is enough i think three is not enough and uh, the others i think you just got too many so five is uh, about the sweet spot so we press the i button to uh, to make our selection and then we go into another little subsection which basically uh, is is a percentage of how much power you want allocating to each level so i've currently got level one set to 20 percent, but you can increase or or decrease by using the uh, the plus and the minus buttons but 20 percent power in level one is absolutely fine so when i'm riding along flat surfaces you just get a right gentle bit of uh, pedal assist just to help you along so we'll enter that uh, then in level two i have set to 40 so as you can see i just have them at 20 percent increases uh, so i've got six at level three at 60 four at 80 and then level five we've got uh 100 Okay, so this next one is the CUR parameter. And what this is, um, is your, is your uh, battery uh, current level. So it's your ampage level. And have we, as we enter that, you'll see that mine's currently set to 22. It came uh, as standard to 20 amps, uh, but it is only a limiter. And I have been riding around on it with, uh, with 22 amps. Uh, but let's say it's just, it's just a limiter. So it's going to limit out at uh, 22 amps. But it's been absolutely fine even though it came at 20 but if you want to keep yours at 20 then uh, then definitely do so the next one uh, i'll just cycle out of that by pressing long pressing the i button again so now we're at the menu so again this next one is the pas which is the uh, the pedal assist function and if we enter that we'll see that we it starts off with a sub menu of run for which basically run forward so you can actually set it so that your pedal assist kicks in either when your pedals are going forwards or or in reverse i just don't know why you'd have uh, pedal assist in reverse so i keep mine to run forwards at all times 
so short press on the i button and then you'll see this scn now this is your pedal assist sensitivity it's how quick it actually from when you start pedaling to how quick it kicks in uh, minus two being the most sensitive and it goes all the way up to minus nine um, so if you want to start pedaling for a while maybe i don't know a few seconds and then and then have your pedal assist kick in uh, you can set it at a, a lower setting but i have mine at maximum sensitivity and then finally, press I for that one. And again, you've got this N. This is quite confusing because it's basically the amount of magnets that are inside your power assist assembly. Um, I know that mine's got 12, but if you don't know your own uh, from your manufacturer, I'd, I'd consult your, either your manual or your manufacturer just to make sure you know how many magnets are in your uh, power assi uh, pedal assist unit. But I've got 12 in mine, so I would suggest not really touching this um, at all and just keeping yours uh, at whatever the default setting is. Okay, next is the fifth parameter in these advanced settings, and it's the SPS which is basically the uh, the system's uh, torque settings. And again, it's connected to those uh, magnetic heads uh, in the bike. Um, and I think it's like torque settings, you know, of your speed. But I've got this set to uh, setting one, which is obviously the highest sensitivity. But I wouldn't really touch this. I don't I don't understand this feature. I don't think anybody does that has a, a created a review so far. Um, it's, I wouldn't really tamper with this because you could actually muck your bike up by uh, by messing with these. So I'll, uh, I'll exit out of that as quick as my uh, fingers will carry me okay so we've just got a couple more parameter settings in these uh, advanced menu and uh, the next one is the hnd which uh, stands for handlebar and it basically refers to the behavior of your throttle so if we enter into that you'll see we've got a, a hl sub menu this is to do with uh, some kind of push assistance on your throttle but i'm not quite sure what that is so i have that turned off because i have my uh, push assistance with my uh, minus button over here but if you go to the next one, the HF is whether you want your throttle to work in conjunction with your pedal assist. So if you didn't say level one and you're only getting 20% power, your, your throttle will also give you 20% power and then 100% that power if you're in level five, etc. I actually have this set to, it, it's actually on even though I select no. So if I... Um, come out of that section by long pressing the i button and then long pressing it again back to the main menu i'll just show you what i mean if i go into level one now on my uh, my pedal assist and then i wind on the throttle it'll only give me 20 percent power so it's getting like nine miles per hour but if i then take my level up to level five and then wind on the throttle quickly straight up to uh, 32 miles per hour and that will actually work in conjunction so that's basically what you get from your pedal assist as well so that's the uh, the handlebar function next up we have the system menu so if we enter into the system menu we've got um, a delay which is basically a battery delay mode again i'm not quite sure what this does uh, but it, it was set to minus three as the default you've got minus six and then 12 uh, but i always set the, i've always kept this at, uh, at the minus three mode so we're going to enter that the PUS is again the it's how to dis you can disable the push assistance feature so like say when you when you uh, pushing the bike along you can just uh, press the minus button for like three seconds and it'll just um, ride along steadily uh, at the side of you without having to uh, push the bike along but you can disable or enable that so I have that enabled and then the final setting here is the SSP um, and basically you can't actually change that anyway there's no there's no way of changing that's some kind of speed setting but again that's just set to four as default and you can't change that so that's the uh, the system menu finally um, the final menu is the password you can actually set your own four digit password if you want uh, a second level of security you've got you've always got your key uh, that you put in your battery so the people can actually turn on the bike but if say for instance somebody stole your bike and they used a screwdriver to uh, maybe snap your, your your lock in your battery and they managed to get the, the the display on you do have a another level of security if you want to input your own password so it just basically disables the bike a little bit more but I, I don't really have a, 
I don't really have a password set, so I just keep it at, at zero, 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 zero. And that's basically it. That's all your uh, your functionality of the bike. Uh, there is another menu. If I, I'll just show you this as well. If you basically, it's pretty foolproof what we've done. And if you decide that you don't like these settings or you, you make a mistake, you can actually from the main menu, press the minus button and the I button uh, down together for four seconds. And that will then take you to the uh, the manufacturer's default settings. So you can actually set it back to the manufacturer's defaults um, by pressing yes. Uh, but I don't want to do that right now. So I've, I've got it set to no. But if you do make any mistakes, you can actually uh, override all these and take it back to its default settings and start all over again. So you can't really muck things up too much. So I hope you've enjoyed that video. If you like this video, please don't forget to give it a subscribe. Uh, there's plenty more bike content coming soon and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye for now.